So next up we come to <laughs> the... <laughs> Terrible. This is going to be so obvious a cut that it is now. No. <laughs> we didn't forget anyone, we promise. Right, okay, so the, the Harajim list has, has put the, the Mumuk kill in front of... Mumuk with three pages of rules. Three, three pages. Full pages of rules. So it's easy to miss out. Yeah. Uh, we did miss out, interestingly, one of my favourite models. Yeah, the, getting I, range. I, think, I think two great heroes. Yeah, they're who've, very, who've, very good. Who've, who've I thought we were missing something. Yeah. It did feel that way. Who've had a big, big profile change with the, this rule release. We've got the Mahood King. You, you got me the Mahood King, didn't you? Yes, I yeah. bought it off you. Good stuff. Very cheap, really, in retrospect. Because it's, it, yeah. it's it's out, out of production. You're welcome. Now. Thank you very much. Um, same time, we got Badur from you as well. Yeah, yeah, He's not out of production. He's not out of production. Okay, so this guy, he's slightly more expensive than the Haradrim King. Yeah. But you're about to see why. He's good. He's very good. He's very good. So he's 5 value 5. That's good. Yeah, tick. He's got 3 plus shoe value. That's good. That's good. Oh. He is strength 5. The originals. So One of the original strength fives. So you, you, you're going into the realms of the Uruk, Urukai uh, captains and some of the Dunlending um, yeah, yeah. heroes, of course. Uh, so strength five, that's really good. He's defense five, so well, we'll see in a second. We can bump him up a little bit. He's two attacks, two wounds, courage four, and he's two, 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 two one. Yeah. So that kind of king profile. Okay, so he comes with armor, but again, it's his war gear. Which is really going to make him stand out. Yeah. Alongside that, fight five and strength five. You can yeah. see his role already. Okay, so you can take a war camel. So a war camel, same profile as a horse, however, it's got two big spikes on it. <laughs> now, when you charge into something, it inflicts a strength four hit, which can kill that model. However, it is not a throw weapon. So if you do kill that model, and you can't, you can't move on. So he should always be charging into two. Yeah. So there's less of a chance of um, killing both. Now, a friend of ours, Jay Clare, I would call him a friend, uh, he used this to great effect. Yeah. Great effect at the league. Oh, you weren't there. I wasn't there, but I'm talking I, to you as if you were there. I've heard about it. He used it to great, well, he's a very good player. Yeah. Uh, so he, he obviously knew what his weaknesses were and what his strengths were. That's one of the bloodiest games I've ever seen, actually. Him versus uh, Dave yeah. Nolan. Oh, definitely. Not. I was going to say James Brown. James Brown said he played against him. Oh, yeah. No, it's really Yeah, yeah. yeah that's so the camel's charging. I don't care that you. It's like five. I've got a strength four hit. The strength four hit was absolutely taking them to pieces. Um, so it's en masse. It is a big, big thing. Like, it's one camel, it's unnoticeable. A strength four hit is brutal. Yeah, one, one in three chance of killing most things. And you're not even you're not having to roll to hit. You're it's, just you're just hitting. Are oh, you going to wound? You know what I mean? So it's it's very, very powerful. And again, you know, most of these things are maximized of course when they are on the hero. The hood King. He has got the war camel option. Are you going to take it? Ten yeah. points. Of course you yeah. are. Yeah. He also gets to take the war spear, which is the lance and spear. So strength five with a plus one to wound. Yes, please. Yes, please. Um, so you're looking at sort of dwarling killing then, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like That's dwarling killability. Very good. Um, he's got the blowpipe for five points, and he can take a shield for five points. Yeah. The shield, you, shield's a definite lance, definite war camel. And if you've got five points, take a blowpipe because it doesn't Im impact you in any way for holding it. Yeah, and he does get the special poison darts, so this model rerolls ones when rolling to wound with a shooting attack. Can you imagine if that was for an all attack? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> poison blade. No, well, he needs to be better. This profile used to be much better. Really? He used to have three attack space. Now that's that, that's a good, but really yeah. more expensive. Yeah, three attack space. No, because the, uh, Mahud, when we'll talk, we'll talk about it, um, we we'll to talk about it now because the heroes are here. Uh, they their troops used to be courage one, right? Okay. But they had a, a special rule called warrior pride, mm -hmm. and so long as uh, if if there was a Mahud king in combat within twelve inches, they would auto pass courage tests. Okay. If there was a tribe master within com in combat within six inches of them, then they like a stand fast. That's quite a cool only rule. if you're in combat. So you know my king's in combat. I'm going into combat. So yeah. special. But that's been gotten rid of. And he was bumped down his attacks because my hood used to be two attacks each. And yeah. So they're now one attack. But oh, so they were they very power? Did you see a lot? Did you see a lot of them? No, because they were f they were fight three. Right. Strength four, which is good. They would occasionally make up a front line rank, but because they were fight three and only metal, you never really saw them. Ah, oh, because you can imagine that being you could make that quite competitive. Yeah, yeah. You could make that quite competitive. Now let, we we've got to spend some time just talking about the model. Oh, the, the, this aesthetic of the Mahood is amazing. 
and he he's a, he, he looks like he trains at the biotic gym as well. He's a five. He does. He does train at the biotic gym. You know, he's squatting at least twice his own body weight. He's a he's a big looking dude, but he's a lovely model. Yeah. Um, so. One, one of the bits that I found really fun to paint, I know it's like a bit of a sort of geeky little thing to notice, but can you see these bits of material that come down here? Everything just looks very natural, yeah. like it's supposed to, and it's, it's fun to paint, especially the colours as well, going from that sort of wicking -y kind of colour okay, to the yeah. reds and blacks and stuff. It looks very, very cool. And I've seen some good ones out there as well, yeah, yeah. some really good ones. So that's the Mahood King. Mm -hmm. Then we come down to sort of the captain version, which is the Mahood Tribe Master. Yeah, so it's the same point as the Corsair Captain. But he's 5'4, mm. 3 plus shoot value still, uh, strength 5, defense 5, 2 attacks, 2 wounds, courage 3, which is the, the courage is the offset for these guys, 2 might, 1 will, 1 fate. And he's got the exact same special rules and war gear options, you know, war camel, war spear, blowpipe shield. So you were going to do a Mahood themed army and you were going to therefore take Trian's Master. I mean, to be fair, you can take more than one Mahood King, can't you? Yeah, yeah, they're not named. They're not named. I mean, I would take the Mahood King. Yeah, for that 5-5. Five, five. For that 5-5, five, five, all day long if you can. Um, but apart from that, it's pretty good. You're going to take him with the War Camel, if you're going to take him, you're going to take him with the Spear, spear and probably with the Shield, and shield as, well. as well. Good defence 6, it's good. Yeah, so they are nice models. We don't see them often, often, because they're quite rare. Yeah. Because they're quite rare. Uh, but Mahood King in particular, a very, very, very good hero.